make sure you have the following items. Make sure you have a steady and level platform to build your sauna on. Place down your cradles. Grab your bottom center board with the long part before the groove facing the front and place it on the cradle. Make sure you have the center board hanging 12 inches over the cradle and perfectly centered. Secure it with a 2.5 inch screw and ensure it is square. Add three more 2.5 inch screws. Repeat the process on the other side. Measure the distance between the two end cradles and ensure the middle cradle is centered. Then repeat the securing process. Place three staves on either side of the center board and align the grooves. Place the door piece into the grooves. Ensure that the logo is facing inward. Tap the bottom until the door is level. Finesse the door into the groove. Ensure the tongue and grooved sides of the wall are opposite front to back. Repeat the process with the back wall. Install the front half moons. Ensure the bench support is facing inward. Align the tongue with the groove. Secure with two and a half inch screws into the pre-drilled holes on the top and bottom. Repeat the process with the other front half moon. Repeat the process with the rear half moons. Place the top center stave. Continue adding staves and secure with a nail on either side. Once you reach the halfway point, repeat the process on the other side. Once you get past the middle point, nails are no longer needed. When you reach this point, remove the centerpiece and put it aside. 
Then add the remaining staves. Finish adding the staves to the other side. No nails are required. Wedge the center piece with the last stave to create a V-shape. If you find it is too loose and laying flat, use one of the included spacers to give it the V-shape. Pre-assemble the end band and place the nut on, just enough to hold it together. Place the band onto the front of the sauna. Repeat this process for the back band. Feed the center straps over and under the sauna. Secure with the rod and nut. Ensure all fasteners are the same height. Measure the distance from the wall to the front of the staves. In this case, it is 17.5 inches. Make sure that the second band is the exact same distance, minus half an inch from the front. In this case, we want the band 17 inches from the front. Tighten the fastener for this band. Tap the staves to even them out. Ensure that the back band is 2 inches from the end of the staves. Tighten the fastener for this band. Tap the staves to even them out. Continue tightening and tapping until everything is snug and even. Tighten and tap the front until everything is snug and even. Ensure that the front band is 2 inches from the end of the staves. Tighten the fastener for this band. Measure the distance between the second and fourth band. Make sure the third band is perfectly centered between them. Now tighten the fastener for this band. Now give all the staves a final tap.
Once complete, ensure all bands are fully tightened. Now it's time to install the floorboards. Tap the side until the center board is aligned with the starter stave. Secure the floor with six one and a half inch screws. Next, bring in the benches. Ensure they are snug against the wall. Secure each bench with four one and a half inch screws. Place two one and a half inch screws into the pre-drilled holes on each bench leg. Screw the first leg into the bottom of the bench. Insert a one and a half inch screw into the pre-drilled hole to secure the leg to the floor. Repeat this process for the remaining legs. Measure the height of the stove mounting holes and add 6 inches. Measure the width of the stove mounting holes. Transfer the measurements to the back wall of the sauna. Attach the mounting bolts to the wall. Attach the stove to the bolts on the wall. Assemble the stove guard with one and a half inch screws. Place the screws into the pre-drilled holes to prepare for mounting. Center the stove guard around the stove and secure it to the wall. Ensure the guard is level and secure the other side. Mark the vent hole positions. Drill out with a 2 inch hole saw. Only go halfway through to prevent splintering. Finish drilling from the other side. Smooth out your cuts with a sander. Install the vent board. Screw on the vent guard. Cut out two more holes under the stove. Screw on the vent guard. Install the outer door handle at the desired height.
install the inner door handle at the desired height as well. Install the towel hanger at the desired height. Install the porch floor and center the middle board with the starter stave. Ensure that it is level. Secure it with four one and a half inch screws. Assemble the porch benches. Ensure the longer side is pointing upward. Secure with three two and a half inch screws. Repeat this process for the second bench. Insert two and a half inch screws into the pre-drilled holes on the bench legs. Partly screw in three two and a half inch screws into the bench support boards. Now place the first bench and ensure that it is level. Now secure it to the floor. Insert two two and a half inch screws into the bench. Secure the bench support board to the sauna wall. Use two one and a half inch screws to secure the bench to the support board. Repeat the process for the second bench. Now install the optional sand timer. Ensure it can flip without hitting the wall. Secure it with two one and a half inch screws. Now install the optional thermometer. Check where the thermometer mounting bracket lines up and insert a one and a half inch screw. Hang the thermometer on the screw. Your assembly is now complete.